So the main purpose of a skin check is early diagnosis of skin cancer. Uh, we understand very well from the research that early diagnosis of skin cancer improves outcome of treatment and it can even save life. So early diagnosis is crucial and that's the purpose of a skin check. So there are two types of patients. One is that a person is concerned about a spot. So for example, the spot is sore or bleeds or forms a little sore or it's tender, changing or looking abnormal, new spot. Uh, so people are concerned about a spot. The other group of patients are people who don't have particular concern about a spot, but they have risk factors. So for example, they either had a skin cancer or they have a family history of a skin cancer, or they had significant solar damage in their younger age, and they have therefore increased risk of skin cancer. This would also be people with multiple moles, people who have fair skin, or uh, multiple freckles. It's interesting that most of the sun damage that is significant to developing of skin cancer happens before we are 20. So we understand from research that probably over 50% of all sun damage happens uh, before we are 20. That means that even if you are sun smart now, you really need to look back and see what was your behavior in the younger years, because that carries significant risk of skin cancer later in life. So the, the purpose of a skin check is to check the whole body, so it's full body skin check, and we usually use dermatoscope, which is an instrument that increases the, the accuracy of a diagnosis. And basically, I look at most spots with the dermatoscope. If there is a spot that I'm concerned about, I will also use digital dermatoscope, take an image of it, magnify it, and look at the spot under the microscope. So mole mapping, apart from having each lesion checked individually, during mole mapping, we take total body photography, and currently we use digital uh, system to do that. And that, uh, having the images of your whole body allows us to trace the change in the lesion and also identify new lesions that can potentially be cancerous. And it increases the, the, um, the accuracy of diagnosis. Well, Probably not. Mole mapping is the main purpose of mole mapping is for patients with multiple moles. So when you have, say, over 50 or over 100 moles on your body, you probably want to be thinking about mole map mapping rather than just ordinary skin check. Because when people have so many moles, it's often difficult to identify new spots and also be totally confident about what, what changes occur in the spots over time, and dermal mapping can be helpful.